Hello, everyone. This is Ray Savage with Cambium Networks. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, today's webinar is pretty important. We'll be talking about the, the new features and capabilities in our CN Maestro system. And joining us today is uh, Rob Mellencamp, who's the Executive Director of Engineering for the uh, entire platform. The presentation is being recorded, and you will be able to uh, view a replay of it on the Cambium community afterwards. But during the course of the presentation, if you do have any questions, please use the question and answer dialog box on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, we'll try and get to as many questions as we can during the course of the webinar. Uh, and of course, uh, after uh, we've completed, you'll be able to uh, post any questions or comments on the Cambium Networks community. Well, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Rob Mellencamp. Rob? Great, thanks, Ray. So uh, this presentation is going to be on CN Maestro. Um, we're going to be talking about um, essentially features that we are working on right now, primarily. So we're not going to be giving an overview or going through sort of um, you know things that we've uh, that we've released recently. It's um, the primary focus is on things that are okay. essentially targeted for the first half of, of 2018. And, um, and the releases that will be included in are the 1.7.x release and yes. the uh, and 2.0 release. So, what I'm, so the intended use case is a good place to talk about basically. And so, so we'll continue. We um, so, a lot of keys for good Wi Fi in the United States. Uh, so, we do have a little bit of noise in the background. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can and quiet that down. And the public Wi Fi and outdoor Wi Fi. And, and if you look at some of these features in all in 11ax, like VSS. Ah, that's better now. Okay, so um, let's continue. So, uh, so CM Maestro right now we have um, we have a uh, essentially a cloud deployment as well as an on-premises OVA deployment. We're looking at adding Microsoft Hyper V in um, in the first half of 2018. Uh, that's been probably the um, the biggest request from customers so far. Um, we do have um, sort of directions on how to convert an, an OVA to a uh, to a Hyper V um, format, but uh, but we don't build it and we don't uh, and we don't test it, so it's not officially supported. And so um, and so that's on the roadmap. Um, two things that that uh, that we've been investigating that we haven't um, that we haven't committed to yet are a um, are an Amazon AMI. Uh, we do have customers who are um, who are using Amazon and and are interested in sort of setting up their own CN Maestro um, installation in the Amazon cloud, either for testing or uh, or for production. We of course do a lot of our development um, um, within um, within Amazon, so we've been um, sort of considering whether or not we wanted to uh, release an AMI. Um, the second one that um, that I'm using a lot is the Ubuntu um, LXP containers. Uh, we use those a lot for our um, for our testing, and they're particularly good for things such as the high availability testing because you can put a lot of things onto the system, and they're very um, and they're very efficient. So we haven't committed to uh, to uh, to that either, um, but uh, but that's something which is under investigation. So if anybody is you know is has a strong interest in either the um, the AMI or the Alexi containers, we'd like to uh, we'd like to hear about that. So one of the things that we've been doing probably the most in the past in the past couple of months has been um, has been this managed services feature, and we're not going to go into that in uh, in tremendous detail today, um, but we'll sort of hit the highlights. So managed services um, is essentially taking a single CN Maestro installation and um, and chopping it up into a uh, into a number of um, of smaller accounts and then assigning those accounts to uh, to tenant administrators. So the tenant administrator gets a um, gets access to their own to their own CN Maestro managed account and then we have an MSP administrator who essentially owns the entire um, the entire process. And so they they um, they they manage the accounts. They can see all the devices, and the tenant administrators have a um, have a subset view into the devices that they own and the infrastructure that they um, that they have access to. So um, the MSP administrator gets the full CM Maestro management UI with um, with uh, with all the features, and then the uh, the, the uh, tenant UI is a um, is largely the same. Um, there's a few things that are missing, such as the, such as the MSP um, feature set. And the uh, and the UI itself is um, is branded to the um, to the uh, to 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 essentially to the uh, provider to the provider account. There's two concepts within um, within managed services. 
Uh, the first concept is this, is this idea of a managed account. So I said that we would take an existing CN Maestro installation and we would chop it up into, into sort of subset accounts. And those accounts could be assigned to, uh, to users. And so in this picture here, we have a global CN Maestro company account. And uh, within that, we have two managed accounts. And the managed accounts themselves have their own copies of, of AP groups and WLANs and sites. And uh, the managed account administrator will have full control over um, over the uh, over the objects within um, within their accounts. Right now, the um, we have uh, three different um, uh, levels of roles for managed account administrators. So they can be either um, either administrators, where they can manage users and essentially the full infrastructure, or they can be operators or uh, or monitors. So it's a similar. It's a similar set of roles as with um, Global CN Maestro, except that we don't have the super administrators within the managed accounts. The second concept is this um, is the branded service, and so the branded service essentially allows one to um, to uh, to have a separate user database, as well as to add branding to a um, to uh, to a managed account so that it can be seen by by the users when they um, when they log in. And so it gives you essentially four things. So you now have an attended administration um, database with your own um, tenant administrators. You get a branded tenant UI. And uh, when customers go and log into the system, um, especially within the uh, within the cloud system where it's a shared infrastructure, uh, we'll have a um, we'll have a separate path that's um, that's branded for the um, uh, for the branded service um, as well. And so sort of a high level overview is. Um, is uh, is in the graphic at the bottom. So um, another feature that um, that uh, that that we're working on right now is a um, is a basic sector visualization. This is meant to be sort of a um, an update to our maps, and it's not meant to be anything more than just being able to uh, to uh, to show a um, sort of a, a generalized view of a um, um, of a sector of a essentially of a uh, PMP EPMP sector. Um, given given basic parameters that 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 would be then configured um, configured on the uh, on the AP. As part of this, we're going to be revamping our um, our map substantially and providing in much better um, much better ways of, uh, of visualizing nodes and uh, and navigating around nodes within the maps. So it'll still be within the context of the um, of the existing CN Maestro, but um, but it'll be um, it'll, it'll become more. Um, um, a little bit more rich and, uh, and have a little bit more features. And so this is one of our one of our fixed wireless um, features coming up. Hey, Rob, I'm we did to... have a uh, yeah. question come in from Kendall, who is uh, interested yes. in the MSP feature. Uh, his question yes. is, will MSP be able to mark what a tenant can see? For example, only subscriber modules, but not APs. Uh, so the... Um, so so right now, within the current um, system, it's a um, it's targeted to um, to the tenant can see everything within the um, within the existing account, and the current data that we have right now is um, is focused on Wi-Fi, and it's um, and it's in the cloud. Uh, we do have a um, a beta that's going to be opening up soon for um, for Wi-Fi within the uh, within on-premises, um, and then. We'll also be opening up um, MSP feature for uh, for fixed wireless um, as well. So it's going to be a little bit of a um, of a uh, of a um, of sort of a sectioned um, um, a sectioned rollout. But um, but but essentially all of the devices, all of the um, all of the uh, objects within the uh, within the subset account would would be visible to the um, to the administrators. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. So, um, so on-premises high availability is a um, is a, is of course another big feature that um, that uh, that we're currently working on, and um, and so this is going to be essentially um, also somewhat phased. So, um, so this first phase is going to be a um, an active standby replication architecture where we have two um, two CN Maestro instances, and we're going to also have an art, an optional arbiter to uh, to guard against um, uh, split brain scenarios uh, with a floating IP address. And so, um, and so you'll be able to essentially to uh, to set up two and optionally three um, um, VM um, virtual machine instances, and uh, and get uh, and get high availability. So 
So the um, so the device support um, um, in the next um, in the next few months is going to be a PTT 650, 670, and 700. Um, we'll be rolling out a um, the ability to uh, to do onboarding and uh, and monitoring um, for uh, for those systems. Uh, right now, it's um, it's it's tracking to uh, to the April timeframe. So monitoring would include essentially dashboard statistics and maps and um, and uh, and all of that uh, all of that sort of that. Uh, that uh, basic sort of monitoring and notification um, data. TN Reach, um, we currently are in a, uh, a beta as well for that. Uh, we're going to be adding into that um, template configuration and uh, in bulk image upgrade, and uh, and then we'll be rolling that out as sort of a phase two CN Reach that um, that's consolidated within the existing um, within the existing CN Maestro. So CN Reach right now. Is a separate beta. It's not included within the um, within the currency in Maestro and it's on premises. And so right now we're essentially working at um, adding in uh, the, uh, the the uh, two features of configuration and bulk image upgrade. Um, also, um, then bringing that back into the um, into the primary in Maestro um, um, code base, and then we'll be rolling that out within um, on premises um, and within cloud. And then for EPMP, it's a little bit more straightforward. Um, the PTP uh, 550 and Force 300 support, um, as they, as uh, um, as those um, are uh, are uh, are brought out, um, we will uh, we will have uh, support for those as well in the uh, in the future. So reporting is is um, is, is one of the uh, features that we've been talking about um, for a while now. Um, the uh, right now we have a whole series of sort of integrated reports that are more focused on on um, I'm sort of interfacing in with uh, with uh, with other applications. Um, we have our data reports, which you can download in their CSV format, and and they work fairly well within um, within uh, Excel or, or within some of these uh, analytics frameworks such as Power BI. We have just basic table export um, for tables when you are navigating to the system, and we now have a RESTful API within on premises, which allows you to uh, download um, uh, statistics data. And the performance data as a um, as a JSON document, and so our graphical reports um, uh, piece would be essentially taking taking the data that we have within the system and um, and making it into a more graphical format that um, that's easier for uh, for humans to use, and um, and then allowing them to uh, to either be um, downloaded through um, through the UI in a PDF format, and that would be essentially the uh, the first phase. Um, and then the second phase would be allowing uh, customers to uh, to schedule them as well as to uh, to email them. So we're going to essentially focus in on getting the um, getting them out uh, through a uh, through a basic sort of PDF download uh, first, and then we'll be extending them to uh, to doing a little bit more rich infrastructure um, in phase two. And so two of our mock-up reports are are on the right hand side um, because we have so many different device types. There's a lot of different reports that um, that uh, that we can create. Um, we're going to be looking at um, sort of starting off with a uh, with sort of a basic set um, number of shared reports across all the products within an account would be for inventory and alarms. Our fit wireless, um, we would have uh, PMP, AP, and PMP SM reports, and then for Wi-Fi, AT site, and WLAN, and then we can we'll be able to expand from that over time to uh, to include um, other reports and other report types. Reports as well is, for folks that are used to seeing Maestro, we have essentially a very hierarchical um, presentation and so uh, and so right now everything that we do is sort of dependent upon the um, the level that you're at in the tree. So if you start a data report at the top level, you'll get data for many more devices than if you started it in a um, um, at a lower level within the tree. And it'll be the same for graphical reports. So you should be able to um, to uh, to get reports for a site or for within a um, um, the devices within an AP group or devices within a tower. And um, and uh, and the report would essentially reflect a um, a subsection of the tree. So APIs are also um, very high on our list of priorities. Um, we've we've released a um, a monitoring API recently um, in a, for on premises. This includes um, getting monitoring data for alarm compliance, um, events and inventory, as well as statistics and performance data. And so this this um, this monitoring alarm, which was released in um, or, or this monitoring um, API released in um, in our 160 um, version of CM Maestro, it's going to be extended um, within uh, within this uh, this first half by adding in um, the ability to uh, to onboard devices using the API, 
we're going to be adding in configuration and um, and, uh, and provisioning capability as well, so that we can push configuration as 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 well as um, to uh, to image upgrades within the API to make the API much more um, much more rich. And uh, so those two are the um, are essentially the uh, the two top priorities. Um, the secondary priority after those are done would be webhooks, some alarms, and statistics. Um, webhooks is a very nice mechanism for um, for essentially for sending either um, asynchronous um, alerts to an external uh, server that's running a um, a, uh, a web um, a web server um, or um, or to a stream statistics as they um, as they arise and see a maestro gets statistics from all of its devices every five minutes and so we're looking at being able to um, to stream of those statistics as well through the um, through, through the webhooks interface and uh, a lot of companies have webhook support. Um, webhook kind of doesn't have a clear um, a uh, a clear standard right now. So PagerDuty support for webhooks is a little different than the Splunk support for webhooks. And so um, and so our plan is essentially to uh, to choose a um, a selected number of um, of uh, external services, and then to tailor our um, our API so that customers can uh, can fit the uh, the data into those services directly. And uh, Rob, uh, Kendall has a question. Um, so this would appear to be an API that we can set and not just get with the access points or the subscriber modules. Is that correct? Um, can you repeat that, Ray? Yeah, sure. Uh, the question is, uh, so this would appear to be an API that we can mm -hmm. set and not just get with the APs and SMs. Oh, I get this now. Right. So, um, so, uh, so for configuration and provisioning, um, those would be essentially being able to uh, to set as well as to get. Got it. Great. Thank okay. you very much. So, um, additional features um, on radius on premises radius authentication. So we um, so we have um, TACX now and um, an Active Directory, and so on premises radius would be the uh, would be the third. This is for authentication of um, of CN Maestro um, administrators. Email notifications is probably the most asked for feature that we have. Um, the um, the uh, the webhooks feature that we talked about um, on the previous slide would be sort of a similar functionality with respect to um, to uh, to alarms. Um, we now have a um, we're currently working on this um, um, for a uh, for cloud and on-premises release, and so this would be a um, a, uh, a very basic sort of um, initial system to uh, to allow us you know to allow a user to uh, configure a, an SMTP server if it's an on-premises or in the cloud um, we'll have that pre-configured and then specify um, a uh, um, a uh, a set of uh, email addresses for um to uh, to receive um, alarms as they um, as they're generated. Over time, um, within 2018, um, sort of after this initial phase. We're going to have a much more. Um, um, we, we have a plan for a much richer um, alarm infrastructure, which we'll talk about in a couple of minutes. But um, but primarily, we're um, we're going to start off with a uh, you know sort of basic, and then we're going to be expanding that uh, much more um, later in the year. Okay, uh, Rob Nick has a question. Will the API mm -hmm. have a knowledge of the MSP structure? So the so the um, so. There will be essentially a um, a uh, yeah. So the API will we the API will have will 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 be able to access the um, the uh, the MSP data for the different um, devices, but we are we are not looking at um, giving uh, giving API access to uh, to MSP tenants. It would be strictly for the um, strictly for the uh, the global CN Maestro administrator and the whole idea for it would be to uh, to allow for an easier integration into uh, CRM systems. So as we roll out MSP, MSP is only part of the solution. Um, the other part of the solution is essentially the APIs that allow one to um, to uh, to now sort of take you know take this MSP feature and to tie it into um, into you know the customer you know the CRM system and make it easier to uh, to onboard new customers. So a new customer comes in, a an account is created with an MSP. Um, essentially, all the devices are um, are added in through the um, through the API through our essentially through our onboarding um, interface. If the devices need to have a um, um, a new image, um, that would be pushed. 
and then the APs themselves would be um, 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 could be could be configured essentially um, automatically too. You know that could just be part of the fact that they're um, that they're being put into um, into a particular AP group, and that would configure them when when they come online. But for um, for fixed wireless devices, et cetera, um, we would have this ability to um, you know to also to do uh, to do more things um, through the uh, through the API. So there so there is expected to be a um, a very tight integration um, between the two. Perfect. And uh, we do have one more question in the queue from Scott. Uh, he's starting to look ahead toward deployment issues, just as you were describing there. Are there any plans to have some sort of support for non-Cambium devices? Through CN Maestro. So um so so that's so we'll talk about that in a um, um in a couple of minutes um it, it, sort of at a high level but um, well I, I guess the um I guess the quick answer is that um is that later on in 2018 so we do talk about a couple of features sort of later in 2018 there's other things that we're doing as well but um but uh, but I'm kind of prioritizing um, within this uh, presentation. So we are looking at adding something called a um, called an edge agent, um, which we, we're calling it that because it would essentially be a piece of software that sits within the customer network behind the firewall. And the edge agent would be um, would be SNMP based, um, mostly for monitoring, but uh, but uh, we're looking to uh, to leverage that for um, for 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 products such as uh, the uh, the PTP um, A20. As well as uh, some legacy Cambium devices that don't have the um, this uh, this connectivity into uh, into CN Maestro, and the overall view for that is is that um, is that once we have that functionality in place, then um, then we can extend that to uh, to support um, third-party devices too, from a monitoring perspective mostly, and um, and uh, and as an SNMP um, um, agent, um, the priority that we have right now would be um, would be essentially um, once that's in place. Uh, is to uh, is to focus on a twenty first and um, and legacy cambium and then um, and then third party devices would be um, would be second so um so that's kind of um, that's kind of our current thought. Great, that makes sense. Let's press on with the presentation. Okay, so um so the uh, so the third feature that um that uh, that we're looking at probably isn't um you know probably doesn't seem too exciting right now. Um, we're going to be expanding this over time. Um, right now, on-premises is um, is very separate from from cloud, and um, and uh, and that and that has good points and bad points. So we'll always have essentially a um, a version of on-premises that doesn't you know need to have um, um, need to have um, any connectivity to uh, to cloud. But um, but there would be benefits you know in terms of having limited connectivity to uh, the cloud to be able to pull down images and to be able to get notifications, um, to be able to essentially to tie together. Things like um, um, like the warranty and RMA subsystems, et cetera, and so uh, and so we're looking at over the course of this year and probably also into uh, into next year, sort of trying trying to consolidate things a um, um, a little bit a, a little bit nicer. Um, we also have this concept of a um, of a uh, of a Candium ID, and a Candium ID when you're in cloud is a um, essentially an ID that um, that uh, pushed. To um, push to devices and uh, and those devices that then essentially um, um, maps those devices into a specific account so that when support cases come up or, or if there's issues with those devices we have a better understanding of um, of, uh, of where they belong and so uh, within on-premises to uh, to sort of start off this um, sort of this 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 type of um, integration uh, when we do our HA. Our HA is going to be coming out as a um, as a beta initially, and um, and so when uh, when beta comes out, we're going to um, essentially have a um, have a tie-in with the cloud so that we can map essentially map the on-premises to a um, to a specific cloud account, and uh, and then we can use essentially that um, that uh, that Cambium ID to um, to uh, to sort of identify the um, the uh, the instance of CN Maestro as well as the um, the uh, the different uh, devices that are um, that are connecting to it. Um, there's no you know this this, this will be essentially um, there's you know the system will still remain free and it'll still be essentially um, um, the basic features will still remain as they are um, the free features um, but uh, but we do want to have you know start to get a little bit more more of a um, of an integration and so that'll be coming up in the next few months um statistics graphs right now 
not well developed them, and so we're going to be essentially um, 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 making them much more um, much more voluminous within the um, within the system. Sort of all all the data that we have that we're storing as um, as uh, as metrics over time, we're going to be in, in, including those, and you should be able to see um, a lot of uh, a lot of data simultaneously within a um, with, within a single um, within a single screen. Um, a few other things that security banner at um, at login has been a feature that a lot of folks have requested um, and uh, and also scheduled software upgrade is a feature um, probably the uh, the second most requested feature um, in, in than uh, than email notifications and so that's also one that we are uh, that's high on our list and we're looking at um, at uh, at getting in in the next um, in the next few months. I wanted just to talk about um, some of the things that um, some of the other things that um, that are prioritized um, that we haven't uh, that we're not working on right now, but that we have specifications for and that we are ready to uh, to jump into um, when uh, when the uh, when when the existing priorities clear up. Um, the first is um, is a Wi-Fi client dashboard. Right now, our Wi-Fi client um, data is um, is a uh, is a little too tabular, and um, and we're looking at um, at, uh, at collecting a lot more Wi-Fi client data, you know, especially over time, and providing a um, a, uh, a richer client dashboard similar to our other Wi-Fi dashboards. And so you can see a um, a, a prototype of that um, in this uh, in this picture here. Um, administrator auditing is is also a significant um, feature request. Uh, so this is essentially being able to uh, to track all of the uh, all the activities that um, that a uh, CMI score administrator does, and be able to go back in time and to um, and to uh, see what's changed. And then we would also be looking at um, at adding in various um, various ways of visualizing this. So understanding where um, where where most of the um, the updates occur and you know over time and uh, and uh, based upon based upon individual uh, administrator so uh, so we have a lot of ideas in terms of uh, in terms of that feature and we will probably be um, rolling that out in a phased fashion as well so basic auditing first and then starting to provide more visualizations and uh, in more integrations into uh, into dashboard second. Root cause analysis is a um, is a feature that's um, that's uh, very well well known within uh, within the Wi-Fi world. Um, there's always a lot of issues that um, that customers have getting online, and um, and, uh, and being able to uh, being able to uh, to recognize those and to uh, present those to uh, to to customers and um, and then to sort of consolidate and uh, and present where errors um, occur is a um, is a core feature, and we have um, we have a lot of um, ideas and uh, and uh, details on, on how we're going to approach that. So that's another area that um, that uh, that's high priority. Um, forensic error review kind of um, kind of ties into that. Um, when when errors um, arise, how are we able to um, to uh, to uh, to recognize sort of how they fit into um, to to the overall space? So I mean, are these errors like more prevalent within this particular um, site? Or um, are they during a particular time of day, or are they more prevalent with particular types of devices, um, et cetera? Once we get that, that infrastructure in place for um, for Wi-Fi, we're going to be looking at how we can um, how we can extend that to um, to uh, to fixed wireless as well, and to the fixed wireless products that we have. Um, probably Wi-Fi first because that's the more straightforward one, and then fixed wireless we would be doing in um, in parallel. We have a number of um, a number of projects right now. Um, one in particular within the support team, uh, where they're looking at um, at a lot of ways that we can um, take existing data and um, and uh, use it more effectively within Cambia. I would expect a lot of um, a lot of the things that they're working on there would eventually find their way into CN Maestro and into that feature. And I think the last thing um, that we uh, that we just talked about is this concept of the um, of an edge agent, which is an SNMP agent. Um, that uh, that we can use to um, to essentially to uh, to do uh, to do monitoring of PTP A20 legacy devices and uh, potentially um, third-party devices. Again, these things here are, are are kind of kind of in order of um, in order of priority right now. But we tend to do a lot of things in parallel, and we tend to get a lot of stuff coming sort of um, coming at us in many different directions. So stuff tends to get a little bit um, sort of. Uh, Sort of moved around um, somewhat, but um, at least from my perspective, everything here has been um, has been well scoped out, and uh, and uh, and when we essentially get through the um, this uh, this this first set of uh, tasks that we discussed, 
uh, these are the ones that we're going to be moving um, moving towards. So that's pretty much um, the presentation and um, and where we're at um, for the next um, actually you know for the next six months and then for um, pretty much for uh, for 2018. So I guess we'll open it up to um, additional questions. Well, thanks, Rob. Uh, we don't have any questions in the queue right now. We'll give everybody a minute or two. If uh, you do have any, please use the question and answer dialog box on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, the presentation uh, has been recorded, and uh, we will be posting it to our Cambium Networks community. Uh, that's a free uh, resource that you have to find any information about CN Maestro, CN Pilot, our Wi-Fi solutions, or any of our wireless broadband solutions. And the easy way to get there is uh, just go to uh, community.cambiumnetworks.com and uh, you'll be able to log in. And uh, once you register, you can go ahead and ask any questions you like. Well, Rob, uh, oh, just as soon as I'm ready, uh, let's see. Oh, now here come a bunch of questions for you. Uh, Sergio is asking the question, could you repeat when uh, uh, the 2.0 version of CN Maestro will be available? So 2.0, the, the primary feature for that's going to be the um, going to be the, uh, the high availability, and um, and so we, and, and it will it will start off essentially as a um, as a uh, as a beta, and so we're looking for um for for beta for that to uh, to start in um, in early April. Okay, and then uh, Nick is asking the question: uh, Will there be an update to the 1.6.1 build uh, this week? So 1.6.1, much of 1.6.1 was um, was uh, was um, um, performance um, sort of an enhancement, and uh, and so we rolled that out to the um, to the cloud. 1.6.1 does have some um, some uh, some features uh, within um, within on premises, and so we're going to be getting that out um, this week, um, towards the end of this week, and at that point I'll um, I'll post the sort of the full. Um, the uh, the full um, um, set of uh, um, release notes for it, but um, yeah, one one six one we're just fine. we're just finishing up essentially the um, the uh, the on premises and um, and trying to get that out um, in the next um, in the next few days. Great. Well, thank you, thank you everybody for attending, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on uh, the Cambium Networks community or at a future webinar. Thanks everybody. Have a good day.